next week. So uh, next week, we'll start off there since there's an exam next week. The exam will be the exact same format as exam one, meaning there will be two parts. There'll be a first part that um, you is in Blackboard and you have to, um, uh, you'll get all of your answers back immediately and you'll know how you did on that part. There's a second part in which you have um, to submit uh, your answers and then you won't find out until later. The exam will be on uh, Tuesday to Thursday, so you'll have three days to do it, all day, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You'll have three attempts. We'll keep your highest attempt for the grade for each part one and part two. Please make sure that after each attempt, you upload your work uh, within 30 minutes uh, so that you can get your five points for that, uh, submitting your work. Plus, any question over 10 points, I go back in and I match your work that you submitted with your answer. If you got, uh, since it's all zero or 10 for those points, if you got it, I still match your work. Make sure you did it correctly and that your work matches what you submitted. If you did not get it correct, then uh, I go in and award partial credit. So same as last time. Um, you do have experiment five this week. And for this week, there are three videos that I've just uploaded. So the first one is on calibrating the pH tester. Please watch that. The procedure is a little different than it says in your uh, experimental lab procedure handout. Uh, and that's because we're using a kit with slightly different things than we've used before. Number two video is how to do pH titrations, uh, the main point of this lab. And then I'm gonna ask that after you do your first titration, watching the second video, that you watch the third video on graphing in Excel. I want you to graph your first set of data before you do your second and third titrations because that will help you do better second and third titrations. Um, and you'll see just exactly what the data looks like. In fact, you can watch the graphing in Excel part uh, even first uh, to get an idea of what your data will look like and how you're gonna process it. Now, next week is an exam week. It turns out that the only two things you have next week are an exam, which is a big thing, I know, and uh, a lab experiment. There will be no homework, no uh, lecture videos, and no recitation. So hopefully that balances your workload nicely. Keep up the good work. I'm really happy with how the semester is going overall, and I wanna see you continue to do well to earn the grade that you want. And in preparation for next week's exam, uh, which you've been reviewing for and working for the entire semester. So uh, good luck and good skill. You, uh, everything that you've been doing so far hopefully will pay off on that exam. If you have any questions, please come to office hours or email me.